How's it going guys? I'm Ross from Seconds Out Fight Store. Please don't forget to tap the subscribe button if you're enjoying the videos and the content that we're putting out. We always appreciate your support. Today's review is on the Sting Arma Plus Boxing Gloves. Now, this is one of Sting's boxing gloves that's targeted at the beginner's end of the market. Uh, they're made from a really nice quality artificial leather. It's a very smooth finish on them. They've, I don't know if you can tell in the video too much. We'll show you them um, up close a bit more in a second. Um, but it's a really nice, clean, smooth, matte finish on the gloves. Um, completely different from everything else that's on the market. A really nice, shiny logo on there as well and design touch just there. You can see the Sting logo and the design bit just there. But they look really cool. If you're after something that's maybe a bit more minimal and not too loud and in your face, then these Arma Plus gloves are an excellent shout. The glove itself kind of looks like it would be very top heavy, like all the weight is in this part of the glove just here. Um, but when the gloves are actually on, We'll try the glove on just now, but when the gloves actually on, it doesn't feel like that. Like it doesn't feel too top heavy or anything. It feels really well balanced. Um, the Velcro strap is really strong and secure. There is a wee bit of room in there at, st at the start, don't get me wrong, um, but I've not got hand wraps on in this video. So once you've got wraps on, that'll really help bulk it out. And that material strap will soften up a lot once you break them in properly. So you'll get a, an even tighter wrap around your wrist. The knuckle protection is incredible. This is probably one of the best selling points for these gloves. I'm pushing down on my knuckles. This is a 12 ounce glove here. I'm pushing down on my knuckles as hard as I can and I, I still can't feel them through this glove. It's really well padded and protected. The last thing you want to do is go, into, go to a boxing class at night and then into work next day and you've hurt your hands. So these gloves will really protect your hands properly. They're excellent, excellent protection in the knuckles. The only slight gripe I've got with them is that while the thumb does feel perfect, it doesn't feel too tight, uh, there's a bit of extra room in there. It's attached to the glove really well, but it does kind of stick out on the side a wee bit. You can see just there. Now, when you go to make a fist, your thumb obviously comes into the glove. So when you're punching, it's not like you're going to catch your thumb on it or anything like that. But I don't know. I would have maybe just liked to have seen the thumb pushed into the glove. Like if we take the glove back off. I would have maybe just liked to have seen that thumb pushed into the side of the glove a wee bit more as the natural like shape of the glove instead of having it sticking out here a wee bit. So like I said, for all the pairs of gloves we've sold, I've never had anybody come back and say they've, you know, hurt their thumb on it really bad or anything like that. Um, but it would just be a nicer feature if that was maybe just a wee bit closer to the glove. But it is very, very easy to make a fist. In terms of the thumb, by the way, I just want to say that it's, my thumb isn't uncomfortable or feels like it's out of shape or out of place or anything. And it is very, very easy to make a fist and to pull that in. Um, but yeah, it would have just been a wee bit nicer if that was just maybe a wee bit closer to the glove. Um, making a fist is very, very easy. It looks like it's got quite a bit to travel to make a fist, like from this part of the glove down to here, like that. But it's very, very, it's, it's got like a proper broken in feel. It doesn't feel stiff or rigid or anything like that, where it's going to take a lot of work to make a fist until they break in. It's got a nice, soft, broken in feel already. So very, very simple to make a fist with. And like I said, I've got these in 12 ounce on my hand just now. If I was buying these as a bag glove, I've just got about average sized hands. So if I was buying these as a bag glove, the 12 ounce is definitely perfect size for me. The 10s is just a wee bit snug, but if you're maybe a female or if you've got smaller hands as a guy, um, then the 10 ounce will be a good shout. If you want something heavier with even more protection or maybe you're using them as a sparring glove, that's when you might want to look at the 14 and the 16 ounce. So overall, the hand compartment is really nice on these gloves. It's a beautiful fitting glove. Like I said, the only small gripe I've got with them is just having that thumb placement a wee bit closer to the glove. But apart from that, the gloves feel incredible. Excellent protection in the knuckles. Brilliant wrist support, very comfortable fit overall. So if we have a wee look at these Sting gloves up close, you can really start to see that beautiful matte finish on the gloves. The design looks really smart, very clean, very minimal. On the wrist is uh, like a 3D style print, sort of embossed onto the glove. It again looks really smart. And making our way to the side of the glove, there's a Sting Arma Plus text on the thumb and the weight of the glove, which in this case is 12 ounce. On the inside of the glove, there is a breathable mesh pan with the grip bar there to help you make a fist and help keep the glove cool with a few air holes underneath. As we always say, the deodorizers are definitely the best way to keep the gloves fresh, but this mesh pan definitely doesn't do any harm for that as well. The stitching is mostly double stitched all around the glove, which is really nice. And some of, most of the stitching is really nice. There is a couple of wee bits that are sticking out that's a wee bit sort of scrappy in places, but most, for the most part, is very clean and smooth stitching. So these Sting Gloves come really nicely packaged as well. 
as you can see just there, they come in a nice Sting branded mesh packaging just there. So you can always keep these and uh, keep your gloves in these uh, after you get them if you want to keep them separate from the rest of your gym stuff, uh, which is a good shout. They come in 10 to 16 ounce and the, there is five colors officially, but from what I've heard, they're phasing out the matte black, black gold and white gold. So we've got a little bit of stock left. That's the black gold you can see just there. The white gold and the matte black, um, we're actually sold out of that just now, but we're going to be trying to get more of that in. But the navy and the khaki green colour is the two main ones that they're going to be leading with. They're priced at $49.99 and if you're looking for a great quality beginner's glove, something that's maybe a wee bit different, that gives you great protection, isn't too loud and in your face but still different from the rest of the gloves in the gym, um, then these are an excellent shout, 100% recommend them. My only small gripe, I've got one last wee gripe, and Sting do this with all their gloves for some reason. They put silica gel inside the gloves, like those wee patches you see in clothes. And that's all very well and good if you know it's in there. But if you don't know it's in there, like I'll just show you, as you can see just here, it's these two wee patches that come one inside each glove. If you don't know it's in the glove, and you just go and put your hand straight in there, you could potentially jam that into the front where your fingertips are, and you'll either not know what it is and you'll just think that the glove's faulty or you could potentially burst the bag open and it goes everywhere, the wee beads go everywhere. So I don't know, I'd maybe like them to put on the packaging. Either just don't put them in there because no other brand does this. I don't know why Sting do this. I guess it's to keep them, you know, nice and fresh, but I don't really see the need in it. Not, no, no brand does this at all. Um, but if they are going to do it, maybe just to put a wee logo or a, sorry, a warning or something that just says these might be inside the gloves to check first before you stick your hand straight in so it's just a slight warning if you buy the gloves double check any sting gloves actually is make sure um before you put your hand straight in that you're checking to see if that silica gel um pack is in there as well but overall if that's the worst thing in these gloves then <laughs> they're doing pretty well they are cracking gloves overall um for 49.99 you definitely can't go wrong you can pick them up on our website at seconds-out.co.uk where we've got worldwide shipping we always keep good stock of these gloves they're a big seller for us and i'm a big fan of them so we always keep good stock of them so yeah visit our website seconds-out.co.uk you can follow us on instagram and twitter at seconds out underscore and please don't forget tap the subscribe button and you'll be the next to see first to see all our latest videos that are coming up thanks again for watching appreciate the support and we'll see you next time cheers